All right. Hello. So, I have an interesting story to tell you. I... And it might get mixed up, so be prepared for that. I just experienced something <clears throat> that I never have before and thought, hmm, I wonder... I wonder if anybody else has had something quite like this. I'm doing laundry as I need to do it before, you know, I have no clothes to wear. And I'm going back and forth and I'm trying to write down ideas and I'm organizing some of my craft items and like in stuff that I use to make inventions and stuff. And so I'm like going back and forth between the laundry room and like moments of inspiration where I come, like I, I try to like write it as I have it, right? Because all too often for me personally, I'll think of this great idea. And some of you know, I have literally thousands of ideas, right? Not necessarily great ideas, but I think, oh, this is a great idea. There's no way I'll forget about this. I will absolutely remember this until I'm done with this, what I'm doing now, and then I'll come back and, and write it down. And all too often, for me, it just doesn't happen. So I'm going back and forth, you know, trying to get the laundry done, and then running back and forth, and sorting, doing the next load, sorting, and these moments of inspiration come, and I'm trying to write them down, and um, I thought to myself, and please let me know in the comments below, um, I thought <clears throat> people may be able to be um, separated by two laundry cleaning um, classes. I think there are those who do um, small loads and then they don't have to fold as much and that's their big motivator. Or you do huge loads and and that's your motivator. So you're like, oh, ah, this load, there's, this load is so little. I'll fold, I'll fold loads this little all day long, right? Or like, I got to get it done. Three loads, right? And it's really like seven. That's me. Like, I'm, I'm jamming it. I'm putting it all the way. I'm getting better, okay? I, I am not stuffing it completely full because I understand that you need space for the you know, thing to spin around. I have a front loader also, but I don't think it matters if it's the other way. Okay, I was somewhere recently with commercials. <laughs> I know. I only have Netflix, and sometimes I rent movies on Google Play. So I don't typically watch commercials, and watching commercials for me is very funny. Um, <clears throat> I saw one recently where it was <laughs> for dryer sheets, softener sheets. Um, it was <laughs> good for <laughs> like three days worth of laundry or no, maybe it was three for like the big loads, right? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think that's what it was. It was like mega sheet for the big loads. Yeah, because I know I have been, like, taking them out of the washing machine and then putting them in the dryer, like, one dryer, she ain't going to cut this, you know? And, and so in the commercial, I was saying, like, um, uh, big load, you know, it's for big loads because uh, it's the same as using three dryer sheets. Like, oh, and then what came on was a, um, a deodorant that lasts 72 hours, which I thought was very interesting. And I bet you probably those that put it on for 70, like, they're like, well, this is good for 72 hours. They're probably putting it on every day because that deodorant is probably pretty expensive. Anyway. Okay. So I um, told you the backstory, right? That's what I'm doing right now. And so I'm writing down moments of inspiration. I actually wrote down people can be motivated, you know, like, you do little loads and then you're like, I could fold all this or like big loads because that's what it is. And I think maybe sometimes you switch. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Me probably. And it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm moving back and forth and I'm like, I better not, don't jam it all the way full. Leave room really, okay, blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. Okay. 
So I turn, I turn out of the laundry room and I step on Dylan's hoodie. And I felt what could only be described as a ketchup packet. No, a mayonnaise packet, okay? You know, and you like, you can cut, okay, maybe you don't know. I have taken those in one hand and squeezed all of it shut. And then with my other hand, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, wait, forgive me for being crooked. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so you hold it in one hand and then with your other hand, you squeeze it and then it can squirt. If you get it just right, then you have this like little channel on the side that the ketchup, so you get, you squeeze all the ketchup to one side, and then you have like a flat part and then you hold it and then you squeeze the other side and it goes over right. Okay, maybe you've never done that. Uh, I've done it. And like, if you just like kind of squeeze a, a, one of those condiment packages, they have like a thing. Okay, <laughs> that's what I felt. All right, that isn't what was inside. I have my children every other week. Today is Thursday, right? Fine, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. I haven't had them since Friday, right? I think it was last Sunday, okay, that we went on a little hike where we all took some food, okay? So Sunday, one week later, Thursday, so that's like 11 days ago, and I step on a hoodie that Dylan wasn't wearing. It was Matea. And during the hike, she had, I believe, a banana. Yeah. So I don't know how sensitive you are to your bananas, but, um, you know, when they're brown, you don't really eat them. If you can picture a banana inside a hoodie in the dirty clothes pile for 11 days after you probably should have eaten it that day, right? When I stepped on that hoodie, I heard a and I was like, nah, that's not a ketchup packet. Oh, it was a banana, a rotten banana, that I had to turn a hoodie inside out by the belly pouch pocket. Have you ever in your life, ever, emptied out a hoodie pocket? It's not fun. There's all kinds of stuff in there. Now you add an 11 day old, old banana in there that had just been squished. I swear to you, that's probably like the, it was, mm -hmm. yeah. Like a can, if you had turned a kangaroo inside out and like the little Joey had thrown up inside the pouch, it was like that. So I just, you know, I thought maybe you, you, you know, might like that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyway, have fun.